attack right there. Gooden just standing and waiting. Well, it's the Phillips 66 Big 12 Championship game coming to you from Kemper Arena in Kansas City. Ron Franklin along with John Sumbold. We've got four minutes and 39 seconds left. Selfie got away with a push. Motion for three. Not there. Connison tipped it, and it's going to go back to Oklahoma. Gooden hurdles the table. And hurdles again. Well, no quit. This uh, in the first half, a 10-point lead by Oklahoma. And you said at the time they played such great defense, but was it going to come back to haunt them if they didn't score as well as they could have? They have been able, though, to answer this second half on the offensive end. Much better getting high percentage shots. Jabari Brown counted. Now Oklahoma stretches it out to an eight-point game, and we're about to go under four minutes to play. The quick first step, the runner, wouldn't go. And the tip inside, taken away by Selby, out of the wing to a rock, and immediately he will slow it down. Remember, Oklahoma, an outstanding free throw shooting team at 76%. Best in the Big 12 Conference. Price for three. Off the mark there. Collison banged by Brown. And the shot too quickly taken with the shot clock. I mean, they had plenty of time to run the set and get a better shot than that. Collison asking for the ball inside. Heinrich elects not to go to him. Goes to Miles. Now good. The double. They get it to Miles. Dishes to Collison. And he will score the easy putback. Anytime you're playing against an active defensive team, Ron, continue to make them shift and double and move. Kansas has had open looks when they've moved the ball. Well, they've got to be patient, but they also now got to keep an eye on the clock because we're under three minutes to play. Will it be back-to-back -back conference championships here at the tournament for Oklahoma? They are the defending champion, and they get another rebound in another 35 seconds, and their head coach is saying, take it back out, reset, and let's work some clock. Jabari Brown and Darian Selby continue to keep it active once the ball goes off the rim. Give these Oklahoma players another chance on the offensive side. Plenty of time on the shot clock. It's at 15 now and 14. Spread the floor. Offensive rebounds in this game, 20 to 12 in favor of Oklahoma. Shot clock is at six. Thomas White puts it on the floor. Left-handed dribble, gets it back into the middle. It's stolen by Heinrich. And down deep, they try to go to Gooden and a lazy pass to Barry Brown on the hustle. Bad idea, bad pass, 2-10 left. You have possession of the ball. Every possession in this type of game is so important. And the Oklahoma fans are going crazy. Two minutes and three seconds away, and they lead by six points, and a 30-second timeout is called. Well, you see Gooden ahead of the pack, but Jabari Brown is, uh, if he's in the vicinity, it's not even the thought. You can take a look, and there's 2.10 left. And Hollis Price, we talked about him struggling offensively for a while, and he, instead of shooting the jumper, he went inside, and then he got the jump shot going. Two big threes in a row when his ball club needed it. Well, off the top of the telecast, that's what you talked about, John, how important he is to this Oklahoma team, and he really has shown it here today. That old thing, that old saying, it gets worn out sometimes about great players come up with great plays, and that's exactly what little Hollis Price has done here today. Boy, what an effort. We mentioned earlier just his leadership on the floor. Doesn't have to score a big number. Juanis White working against Heinrich, and he falls down. He was fouled by Heinrich. That's the second foul on him. It is the seventh team foul against the Jayhawks. And as we set up for the free throw, it gives me an opportunity to say quickly, thank you to Kansas City. This tournament is going to head to Dallas for the next couple of years. Uh, it has been in this city for decades. They not only have hosted it, they have embraced this tournament. It started out as the Big Six, then the Big Seven, then the Big Eight, now the Big Twelve. And we just simply say thank you because a lot of people have worked extremely hard, and we say thanks, Kansas City. Here, here, to all the volunteers, and I believe McGee will be, that will be his fifth personal off the miss on the free throw line. Tough afternoon. There's a few of those calls I'm sure he's going to think about. 
So he fouls out with nine points and four rebounds. And what's, and what's magnified by this, Ron, this is, a again, a good free throw shooting team. You miss a free throw. If you just make the free throw, this doesn't happen. But the ball goes over the top. That is such a difficult call because that ball is a longer rebound. Boy, here McGee frustrated. So he goes to the sideline at the 159 mark. But Kelvin Sampson stands there and thinks, you know, all we do if we make free throws, we don't get in that situation. And now Kansas with the opportunity to get two points uh, with a clock stuff on 159. Huge. Big at both ends because losing the senior, McGee. And as John points out, an opportunity to score and no time coming off the clock. He cans the second one and will take a timeout. It is a five-point game with 159 remaining. We have always felt that our trucks were tougher than anybody else's trucks. I've had people say to me, I own a Ford truck, and I have 120,000 miles on it, and it's still as good as the day I bought it. They say to me, gee, I'd love to buy an old Ford truck, but I can't find one that's really in mint condition. But that's a great thing. Those trucks have been used hard for a lot of years. You see so many Ford trucks on the work site because these trucks can take what you can dish out year after year, generation after generation. And that's what they're built for. Built Ford Tough isn't just a slogan. It's what we deliver. We just have to make sure that we continue to give them those kind of trucks so that their kids will say, I'll only buy a Ford. I'll never buy anything else. I mean, I love hearing that. A gym membership, $55. A cable and phone bill, $83. A newspaper, internet, electric, gas, renters, and book DVD club train pass, $220. Not needing a reminder for monthly bills? Priceless. Pay your monthly bills automatically and have less to remember. Learn how at MasterCard.com. There are some things money can't buy. For everything else, there's MasterCard. ESPN's presentation of the Phillips 66 Big 12 Championship is presented by Phillips 66. Think smart, think performance, think Phillips 66. And in part by 7-Up in your local 7-Up bottler, make 7-Up yours. And by Ford, America's number one choice for 15 straight years. 57 to 53, our score. Coming up next, Robin Roberts hosts the NCAA Women's Selection Special, ESPN's exclusive unveiling of the women's brackets. Coach Pat Summit and Gino Ariema will be on hand. ESPN and ESPN2, your exclusive home for the NCAA Women's Basketball Championships. <laughs> Good defense. So you can come up with a steal. And they double on White. And a timeout was Price. called by Hollis Price away from the ball. He sprinted in there and called timeout with the reaction of Roy Williams. Well, he got the double team that he wanted. Hollis White had no place yeah. to go. He was, he was right on the half-court line, nowhere to go, and he jumped backwards. Take a look at Hollis Price in the top left corner of your screen. He's going to run right now. He's trapped, and he's now starting to yell timeout. But again, you look at the double team, and he had nowhere to go. And just no place to go. And the timeout called just to the right of your screen by Hollis Price, who he not only has scored and been the leader on this ball club at 21 points. But uh, right there, some quick thinking to save his ball club. Oklahoma with no 30s left, each team with a 60. Two 30s left for the Jayhawks. Got to come to the ball. Oh, and I'll take it. <laughs> well, Selby had an open court in front of him, but well, the way he finishes if he just turns a quarter. But smart decision. Number 13, Jeff Bush, first down three, deep down so it is the one-and-one one situation. Someone asked the other day, how do you slow Kansas down? Boshi, one of four from the field. Heinrich, 0 of eight from the field. Alice Price, see a season average at 83%. This is where Oklahoma wants to be. 
good ball handlers. They don't make many turnovers, and they've got good free throw shooters. And if somebody had told us coming to the park today that Heinrich was going to go 0 for 8 on the field, I would have taken any kind of wager on that. Yep. 